Okay then, before I start today's Batacera 39 Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guides like this one you're watching today. That just means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it also helps out my channel too. So if you're new to Batacera, check out my fully comprehensive setup guide for beginners and that will get you to grips with using Batacera in general. So today then, we're checking out Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD. So we boot up Batacera and this is the latest version 39. So what we're going to do first is just press F1 on the keyboard. And what we're going to do from here is start moving some files around. So obviously this is where we can start adding games, we can start adding BIOS files. So what I've done is put in an external USB drive and if I just go to new volume which is my external drive we've got two Neo Geo BIOS files and this is Neo CDZ or Neo CDZ.zip and we've also got Neo Geo.zip. So what I'm going to do first was just put these BIOS files into the correct place. So I'm just going to copy these from my external drive. So just highlight both of them and if we right click on that we're going to go to copy. Now on the left hand panel just here, we got a BIOS folder. If we just left click in there, what I'm gonna do is just paste both of those BIOS files into this folder. So we've now got both of these in place. And what I'm gonna do next within this BIOS folder, I'm gonna create a new folder. So if I just right click on an empty space here, I'm gonna go to create and I'm gonna left click on folder. And this folder needs to be called Neo CD. And once I've done that, I'm going to go to OK, left click, and that's obviously now created us a new folder, Neo CD. And what I'm going to do is just take both of these BIOS files, so the Neo CD.zip, Neo CDZ.zip, and the Neo Geo.zip. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make another copy of these. And what I'm going to do is go into that Neo CD folder I've just created. And if I then paste both of those BIOS files in here too. So we've now got inside Neo CD folder both of these BIOS files as well as the same BIOS files just here. That's fine. So next up, we're going to need to add some games. So first of all, we're going to go back to the external drive. So new volume. And I've got a Neo Geo CD game here. This is in .chd file extension and it works perfectly. So again, I'm gonna just copy my game. So right click, copy. This time I'm gonna to go to the left hand panel and go to ROMs. And here I'm gonna find Neo Geo CD folder. If I then just right click and just paste my superspy.chd game inside of here, and what I'm going to do next is obviously just grab my Neo Geo game. So in my Neo Geo CD folder, we got Metal Slug 4 and we got Sonic Wings 3. So again, I'm going to just copy both of these. And go back to that ROMs folder on the left hand side. And we're now going to go into the Neo Geo folder. And from here, I'm going to just paste both of my Neo Geo.zip games inside of here. And that's it. So we're done for now. So what we're going to do next then is go up to file at the top left hand side left click on that go down the closed window left click and we're going to find that you can't see any neo geo or neo geo cd games here so what we need to do is actually refresh batsera so i'm going to press start on my xbox controller which is going to bring the main menu up from here i'm going to go down one to game settings press a on this update game list and press yes in now, if we scroll through, we should now see Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD. Cool. So I'm going to enter into Neo Geo CD. And here's my game, Super Spy. It looks really bland. I've got no artwork for this yet. So to get artwork, I'm going to go to Main Menu by pressing Start. I'm going to go down to Scraper. And right at the bottom, Systems Included. We have Neo Geo CD checked. I'm also going to check Neo Geo. So we can do both of these at the same time to grab some artwork. I'm going to go to back and under scraper settings, I'm going to just make sure the settings for the artwork I want are actually set correctly. And right at the bottom, username and password, these are already entered. Now, if you haven't signed up with Screen Scraper, it's absolutely free. Plus, you'll get to download really awesome artwork in preview videos. So right now I'm going to go to scrape now 
And once scraping is finished, what we're going to do is just stay on the main menu and we're going to go to game settings, update game list, and yes. And we should now have artwork for our games as well as a preview video. Okay, so let's start off with Neo Geo. So if I press select on my controller, go down to advanced system options. Under emulator, I'm going to be using RetroArch and the Retro FB Neo for this. And I'm going to leave everything as standards for now, and I'm going to actually boot up a game. Cool, so as we can see, everything's working fine. Now I've just accessed the RetroWatch quick menu by pressing down on my right analog stick and pressing A together, and that's brought us here. So from here, what I'm gonna do is just show you how to save and load states. So if I just go down to save states, state slot, we got a thousand slots here to save. And I'm gonna go to save state. And if I press right analog stick and A again, I'm gonna to go to load state this time. Cool, so if I press my B buttons, come out of here and B again, I'm gonna to go to quick retro watch. And this is gonna bring us back to Batacera. So this time, let's take a look at some video settings in Batacera. So again, I'm going to press View Options by pressing Select button. And if I go down to Advanced System Options, from here, I'm going to firstly go to Game Aspect Ratio, and I'm going to select Full. And because we're now selecting a Full Aspect Ratio rather than the 4x3 box screen with the decorations on the side, I need to take away Decorations. So if we go to Decoration Set, I'm going to go to None on this. And what's done here, and we see it, if you get any issues where you can't see your games or you get a black screen, go to Graphics API and select a different API just here, and likely that's going to work for you. So if I press my B button to come out, and out again, we're going to open up another game now with full screen. Cool, and if I go back to my RetroArch Quick Menu by pressing down on my right analog stick in A. So from Quick Menu, I'm gonna just go to Quick RetroArch. Now if we go back to View Options, Advanced System Options, we've got Power Mode. Now if you're running a higher end computer for Batacera, just leave this to Auto and it's gonna select High Performance. If your computer isn't that great, then you might consider using Power Saver or even Balanced. And if we just scroll down to game render and in shaders, if we use shader set just there, we can give this a real old school look. So for example, if I put curvature on, and whilst we're here, I'm gonna to go to smooth games, and by leaving this to auto, it's gonna select on. And we're also gonna to go to intricate scaling and leave this to auto too. Now, if I open the game back up with curvature on, check this out. And as you can see, we now got an old school CRTV look with scan lines, and that looks pretty cool.
Okay, so let's take a look at some more video settings. So if we press start main menu, I'm going to go down to updates and downloads. And from here, I'm going to go to the bezel project. And from here, I'm going to just download and install Neo Geo install. And I'm also going to do the same for Neo Geo CD. And we're just going to let both of these install. Okay, so those have been successfully installed. So what I'm going to do is come back out of here. And now this time around, I'm going to use one of these in my Neo Geo CD game. This one hasn't scraped artwork, not the end of the world. So what we're going to do is view options, advanced system options, decorations, decoration set. And I'm going to select the bezel project this time. And if you're using bezel project, we also need to set API, graphics API, to Vulcan for this to work correctly. Let's open up the game with the bezel project applied. We now got the bezel project. And to play Neo Geo CD games, if we just use our controller and under game, you're going to find start. And if I go back into Neo Geo, we're now going to just make sure that the bezel project is also applied here. So view options, advanced system options, game renders and shaders, shader set. I'm going to put this to auto this time. Decorations, decoration set. I'm also going to apply the bezel project to Neo Geo. So if we open up Metal Slug again. And here we go, complete with the bezel project, looking cool. And if we go back to quit retro arch, this time we're also going to add curvature to this. So again, we go to view options, game rendering and shaders, and this time I'm going to apply curvature again. And whilst I'm here, we also notice that some of the game image was cropped just then by using the bezel project. So if we go to game aspect ratio, I'm going to just put this one to four by three. So that's it for today's Batacera 39 and Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD setup guide. Like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emanation content. Also check out my entire Batacera playlist as well as my other playlists that cover everything from Launchbox to Retro Bat and many standalone emulators. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.